In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I would start over from scratch if I forgot everything I knew about video editing. My name is Vince and I have been video editing for over eight years at this point and I've built this channel up around the topic of editing and making money with editing. So I would say I do have some experience with it, especially the making money with editing part. I'm not going to say that I'm the best editor out there, uh, definitely not, but I do know a thing or two about learning this because I taught a lot of beginners as well how to edit and also made a lot of money with editing. So without any further ado, let's get into the first thing that I would recommend focusing on if you are trying to learn as a beginner. Choose one platform and stick to it. I see a lot of people who start editing in one platform, right? Let's say they start in Final Cut, then they switch over to Premiere Pro, then they are like, oh, DaVinci Resolve seems better, it's the new craze, then they are like, oh, let me actually learn After Effects as well, and it's good to know like different softwares but you want to just choose one in the beginning and then stick to it until you actually master the platform. The thing is that in almost any of these popular modern video editing softwares you can do pretty much everything that you would ever need to especially for social media content right unless you are going to do some incredibly advanced animations and things of that nature you probably don't need that much After Effects skills right or you you can probably do pretty much everything you would need in the editing software you're already using. So make sure not to fall into this trap of always wanting to learn a new software because that basically creates these half built bridges, right? So what you want to do is just choose one focus in on it and actually become a master of it instead of building these half bridges just build one very very solid bridge and only once that's actually built only once you actually master the software then learn something else as well if you need to and only if you need to another thing that's a really big benefit of learning one of these platforms really well is that most of them are actually quite similar in their layout like if you look at final cut premiere pro CapCut, right like all of these editing softwares do have a pretty similar layout so if you become really really good at one of them well you're going to be able to pick up the skills of the other one as well fairly quickly the second thing i would recommend to focus on is to look at some of your favorite editors that you like to watch and then really dissect their whole editing style learn the different elements of it and then you will have this like war chest of different skills that you have within editing and you can kind of pick and choose what you want to implement in your own style as well now, obviously, when it comes to learning editing, there is a lot of directions that you can go in, right? You can edit social media content, which is what most of you guys want to do. And that can be short form and long form content as well. You might want to do music videos. You might want to do like documentary edits. You might want to do like proper movies, right? So whatever direction you want to go in, obviously uh, choose your people that you are going to learn from and that you are going to try to emulate based on that. And then once you have decided what direction you want to get started in uh, then actually take action choose your top five favorite creators in that and start really just analyzing their edits as well and then start learning the different elements from it the third thing I would recommend you is to join a community. Now, editing communities are amazing for multiple reasons. Number one, you can get feedback on your edits, which is one of the quickest ways to improve as an editor. Look, the thing is you're never going to be able to properly judge your own edits because you are limited by your own capabilities. And also sometimes we tend to overestimate how good our skills are, right? So if you get some critical eyeballs on your work, it can help speed up your process of growth tremendously. Another big benefit is that you can exchange tips and free assets with other editors as well and you can implement those things into your own edits too. And you can also get much quicker help when you get stuck somewhere in your editing process or you need to ask a question than if you had to like go on some forum and figure out the answer from there. If you have a really supportive community, again, it's just a blessing and it's going to make your uh, life a whole lot more enjoyable as you are learning this new skill of editing. Oh, and not only that, but I do believe that it can reduce the amount of time it takes you to learn the skill, like five to 10 X, which is huge. If you want to be part of my free Discord editing community, then go ahead, click the first link in the description, and then you can be part of it. Now, the fourth tip I have for everyone starting out with editing is to stay consistent with it. Look, the thing is, if you start uh, editing and you pick up some new skills, you learn some things, right? But then you stop editing for a whole week or you stop for two weeks or let alone a month, right? 
you will get out of the hang of it. You will not be uh, remembering everything you learned uh, in the beginning. And then it's just going to really like uh, stagnate your growth. So what I recommend you to do is if you are going to, you know, be committed to learning this new skill set, then like pretty much schedule and set aside a set amount of time every single day, ideally, or at least a few days every week to learn it and to actively discipline yourself and sit down to learn or just practice at least. Because again, if you get started, you edit for a week and then you don't edit anything for two months, then you edit for a week again, you will be back at square one. So if you don't want to, again, slow down your growth, just try to stay consistent with it. And also that consistency in your practice is going to compound and you will get better, like a lot quicker, basically. And last but not least, be patient with your progress. I know that this can sound cliche and something you don't want to hear, but the truth is I see a lot of new editors out there who just got started a few weeks ago and they are already expecting to have their social media accounts blow up or to get clients left and right and start making money with their skill sets. Now, I'm a big fan of, you know, wanting to make things happen quickly, a fan of like speed of implementation and like putting in the work. But at the same time, you need to be realistic with your yourself and not expect to get all the results in the world within like a few days or a few weeks. Just like with any other skill set, mastering editing takes a lot of time, right? With most skill sets, if you want to be a re true master of it, you need to spend at least 10,000 hours in mastering it. Now, does that mean you need to spend 10,000 hours to start making money from this skill set in uh, some way, shape or form? Absolutely not, right? You can get started making money a lot quicker, especially if you join some communities like ours in the description below. But jokes aside, just please, 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 like number one, keep your ego in check, keep your humility. If you think that you deserve like clients one month in, you know, you're, you're, you're just not like living on this earth. Cause this thing is a lot of guys I see complaining on forums, communities, who are saying like, oh, I just can't get any clients. And then when I look at their actual edits, they are just objectively not good, right? Like I can tell that they are complete newbies. So number one, set targets, set goals, stay consistent with your editing and actually just, you know, give yourself also time to get better and improve over time. And the results and the clients and the social media following will come naturally. Just focus on your inputs instead of trying to get the outputs. And as long as you do the right inputs every day, as long as you put in the work every day, the results will follow by default. And trust me when I say this, the slowest way to make money with this skill set is to always seek the fastest path to getting rich with it. So again, just to summarize everything, choose one platform and stick to it until you master it. Then step two, choose your path and start emulating other people's style so you have something to create your own style from. Step number three, join a community. Step number four, stay consistent with your editing practice. And step number five, be patient and give yourself some time as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see more content like this, drop a like on it so the algorithm will recommend you more videos from me. And also, if you have been following me for a while, stay tuned for this Friday's upload because I got something quite special coming out for you.